Okay, there's two nutritional inputs that I want us to just take a second to look at. First of all, fat. Second of all, protein. Fats get broken down. If Draw yourself back. Push pause if you must. What are the components of fat? Well, if you remember, we had glycerol and fatty acids. Glycerol, and, and when you eat fat, your body goes through the process of digesting it, like breaking it up into little pieces, and then your cells can break it up into even more little pieces. The first stage is breaking apart the glycerol and the fatty acids. The glycerol can go directly into glycolysis. Glycolysis. The fatty acids get chunked. Remember fatty acids were really long strings of carbons and hydrogens? Those fatty acids get chunked into, guess what? They get chunked directly into acetyl-CoA. So they can enter the citric acid cycle directly without even going through glycolysis. Fatty acids have, they're long, they're big. So they're gonna produce a lot of acetyl-CoA that is available to us in, to, to yumshalize. That is not a real word. That's a Riggs word that means eat. Okay, this part of the lecture makes me think about eating, hence yumshalize. What are the parts, the building blocks, that's what I was looking for, what are the building blocks for protein? Amino acids, home kids. And those amino acids can enter, depending on the amino acid, it can enter the whole cycle. Some of them enter and function like pyruvate, some of them enter and function like acetyl-CoA. Some of them enter and function like those intermediate molecules in the citric acid cycle. So basically, you can imagine these amino acids just feeding into the existing cycle and providing energy because the energy in their chemical bonds is transferred to high-energy electron carriers which go to the electron transport chain, resulting in a doo-doo load of energy. Okay, I'm hungry. I need some energy. That was a long lecture. And know that I say lots of words in these lectures. You can double time me to speed me up if you're like, dude, why is she taking so long to say these things? But I take so long to say them so that you can study along the way so that you can be thinking about it and you can be solidifying the stuff so that I'm not just barfing stuff at you at a super fast rate. I'm giving you a chance to process and think about it and start building structures so that you can remember it for all the reasons that you want to remember this awesome information. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.